Can you explain why there is so much skepticism and mistrust of the medical system among black people in this country? The lack of, uh, of trust in the healthcare system really is a very painful historical uh, uh, set of episodes that, that, that now have uh, and remain current even today. Uh, perhaps the most referred to uh, and the most painful of all was the Tuskegee syphilis study uh, that began back in the 1930s. Uh, this is an experiment where uh, African-American men who had syphilis uh, were observed to uh, over many, many years to uh, see what the natural course of that disease would have on the human organism. Uh, this uh, was painful because we had a treatment for syphilis in the 1940s called penicillin. And these study subjects were denied access to that treatment. And that is, of course, a completely unethical and egregious sin that has led to fundamental changes uh, throughout the way for all of our nation in terms of how research is conducted. But that memory uh, persists. Secondly, there was uh, and remains uh, vibrant in the memories of African-Americans, uh, the Henrietta Lacks experience, where uh, her cells, her human biology, uh, were collected and used and disseminated widely without uh, permission, without attribution, and without uh, compensation for her or her family members. And then finally, the statue uh, to Dr. Sims, who is the modern father of OBGYN. Um, and this is a statue that uh, was erected and lives uh, across the street from the prestigious New York Academy of Medicine. Uh, Dr. Sims uh, made his reputation on doing research on unanesthetized slaves. And so uh, again, honoring such a person and honoring such a legacy is a clear anathema uh, to the sense of dignity and respect and worthiness of black life. Tell me about the efforts to reach out and convince people of color that the vaccine is safe and effective. The Black Coalition Against COVID uh, began as a grassroots initiative in Washington, D.C., and really trying to find the influencers who could translate uh, the public health message into credible uh, representational messages uh, by people that the community trusted. So in addition to the community-based influencers, we found it useful and necessary to bring together the combined firepower of our leading Black health organizations. And so we have now been able to engage uh, the four Black medical schools, Howard University, Morehouse, Meharry, and Charles Drew, combined with the National Medical Association and the National Black Nurses Association as an organized effort to begin to say to the African-American community, here are health experts of and from your community, health experts who love you, who care about you, and who have the requisite expertise to talk to you in ways that you can understand and be able to provide you information that you can trust and that you can believe in its scientific veracity as well as its social policy relevance. Is a strange silver lining to this whole terrible year the fact that the inequities in the healthcare system have been so exposed and that there will be genuine efforts to close the gaps that currently exist? We have a lot that we have learned that has been painful about who we are, uh, but we're also leading to relationships that are being built that will, I think, fast forward us towards a much more uh, intense, creative, and sustainable effort at the pre-existing disease challenges uh, that were here before the uh, pandemic. And I do believe and sense that there is a great energy and a great motivation uh, to get at that as soon as we can get this pandemic uh, behind us.